Welcome to the forefront of research at UPD, where innovation meets national relevance. Our university is dedicated to pioneering initiatives and frameworks that not only drive entrepreneurial spirit, but also contribute significantly to society needs. With a focus on leveraging our unique strengths, we are currently spearheading major projects in biodiversity, energy, Asian studies, Islamic studies, data analytics, sensor technology, catalysis, and herbal medicine. These endeavors are not only of national significance, but are also poised to make a global impact, guided by the Sustainable Development Goals as a framework to direct and shape our research initiatives. Here are several research initiatives currently conducted in UBD. So one of the problems of current medical practice is that a lot of the drugs used are inefficient because they are designed for everybody. By understanding the, genome, the genomes of individual persons, then we can tailor the, the, the uh, treatments more efficiently. So this allowed a more sustainable medical practice and it will cut down the cost for the country. So all this is going to fit in to the uh, United Nations um, sustainable development goals of uh, providing better services, healthcare services for the populations and the well-being of the populations. Um, so here in, in, uh, at the BGC lab, we use some of the uh, cutting-edge technology. For example, this machine here will allow us to sequence full human genomes in about four to five days. So one of these projects, for example, the breast cancer exome project, will generate genetic and genomic data from healthy and disease-carrying individuals who participate in the project. So this genetic and genomic data provide insights into the uniqueness of genetic variation in the Bruneian population. This information is important for our society because it will help them understand that an individual's genetic and genomic data can facilitate their medical treatment. So together with the international communities, Brunei can participate and contribute in the advancement of medicine through precision or personalized genomic medicine in the future. In this project, we have tried to detect pores and gelatin from various food and personal care products. So what we have tried, we have worked on, or we can say we have optimized various nanoparticles to come up with some ideas so that the developer nanozyme can detect pores and gelatin from various food products. What we have done in here, we have worked on gold nanoparticle and graphene nanoplatelets to develop artificial enzyme that was being used to detect pores and gelatin from various food and personal care products. Through this project, what we can do, we can achieve new collaborations with various industries and companies, even government institutions. This kind of innovation also helps us to us made in Brunei directions. We can also encourage more industries to come up with new ideas and develop product into the market. Through this project, we tested different kinds of food samples, including the gummies, jelly, and marshmallow. So these samples tested because possibility of porcine gelatin protein presents. And we used two nanoparticles, that is gold nanoparticles and graphene nanoplatelets to develop the nanocomposite that displays enzyme making activity. And through the immunosensor, we expected the color changes to change from colorless to light blue color and high intensity of blue color changes based on the protein concentration changes. So this sensor basically in the presence of porcine gelatin indicates naked eye detection through visible color changes. We share today the collaborative project between Institute for Biodiversity and Environmental Research, UBD and Singh Health Duke NUS Institute of Biodiversity Medicine, Singapore, on the genome of Delinea supraticosa, locally known as Bunga Simpur, Brunei Darussalam's national flower. Bunga Simpur is commonly found in Brunei's secondary or clear forest as it stands out for its large leaves, its bright yellow color, and pink star shaped fruits. Now, due to its prevalence and utility, this species is significant in Brunei Darussalam's 
local culture and regional forest ecosystem. The significance of our collaborative research extends beyond the exploration of medicinal plants for potential applications such as in anti-cancer studies would yield benefits to the wider population which encompasses the development of novel treatments and enhance efficacy and extends to the integration of cultural insights, fostering scientific collaboration and potentially generate economic opportunities for sustainable development. Our edited book with a multidisciplinary perspective brings together a diverse group of researchers, policymakers and academics to explore the crucial role of public policy in advancing the SDGs. We provided a platform for quality research-based studies that contribute not only to theoretical understanding but also to practical lessons, best practices and policy implications surrounding the SDGs in various countries. Our collection covers a wide array of topics including government strategies supporting SDG implementation Implementation, global and regional policy directions for promoting health and well-being, the interplay between the government, digital government, industry and innovation, and the challenges and best practices for integrating SDGs into policy formulation and implementation. Furthermore, the book delves into specific regions, Asia-Pacific, European, American, Africa and the Middle East. By addressing the SDGs through a regional lens, we aim to foster a more refined and comprehensive understanding of the challenges and opportunities for sustainable development across the globe. The target audience for this book is vast, encompassing academia and researchers from various fields, social sciences, arts and humanities, sociology, politics, business and economics. Additionally, we envision this volume becoming an indispensable resource for policymakers, corporations, NGOs, research centres, think tanks and university libraries worldwide, seeking credible references on SDG implementation, particularly within the realms of policy and administration. Through this work, we anticipate influencing policy decisions, inspiring better government strategies and fostering sustainable practices. The potential impact, uh, impacts are far-reaching, touching areas from health, well-being and innovation. Climate change has been a key challenge for world development. So the purpose of this research is to encourage the formation of some form of alliance and cooperation between government and firms to engage in climate change mitigation. One way is that the government can impose a emission tax and the companies can actually respond by implementing an executive compensation based on the performance of managers to reduce the emissions tax cost. It create a much stronger incentive for managers to engage in such uh, climate-friendly actions. This cooperation can be successful. The future tax rate can also be lower. When we create that uh, theoretical model, we compare it to a typical scenario where the government only impose a carbon tax. Okay? So when comparing to such a scenario, we found that both the emissions reductions, the production of goods and services, and the manager's wages all increases and in particular, the general social welfare of society also increases. Um, also, if such an alliance is successful, the future emission tax can be lower, which reduces economic distortion among um, the managers. And also, it, this allows for higher profits for the firms when the abatement effort or technology cost right, is very high or costly. Okay. So the potential impact is that there is an implication for how government and business form policies and such a scheme can be incorporated in voluntary pollution reduction program which is common in US and Europe. This research will make another contribution to meeting the SDG 17 goals, in particular promoting effective public-private partnerships and of course the most important goal right, is to successfully uh, meet the climate change mitigation. 
To date, our university has achieved a remarkable milestone with 44% of publications directly related to the Sustainable Development Goals, underscoring our commitment to addressing global challenges. 27.5% of these SDG-related publications have earned placement among the top 10% most cited worldwide, while an impressive 49.1% have been featured in Q1 journals. UBD have successfully established 1,066 international collaborations, amplifying our impact and fostering global partnerships in pursuit of knowledge and innovation. At UBD, our research facilities extend beyond mere infrastructure. They are hubs of innovation, creativity, and discovery. From cutting-edge laboratories to collaborative workspaces, our facilities provide the environment and resources needed to push the boundaries of knowledge. Join us in shaping the future through research excellence. Futuring together, let's make a meaningful impact on the world.